$1,241. This is what a participant did, a beginner in trading using a one minute trading strategy. And the interesting part is always to lose $100 for each trade in average and to make $500 to $800 in average. Sometimes it's $300. It's just more than losing $100 when having a winning trade. So we're going through this trading strategy here inside. And the market is always aiming for bigger structure highs or lows. If you don't know what a high or low is, it's just within the structure in the apex. You see here the highest point within the apex is here. The lowest structure point is here. The trader started trading where the blue line is. So the trader was looking first at all, of course, to the left side, what the trader had there. It means where was there the bigger structure lower high and the bigger structure high here was here as you see here and the bigger structure low was there the trader was able to realize that the market was here going down but did not took any trade because it was hard to see here so every time the market is wiggling around as you see we call this a consolidation or a contraction phase these are very hard areas to trade at. It's better to identify when the market does a lot of red candles to trade down or lots of green candles to trade up. I'm going to show you this. You can find a lot of red candles, but once we can see that there are a lot of red candles, the move is mostly already finished because the market is here in a consolidation phase. It's called it is bigger. You have smaller consolidation phases and you have bigger consolidation phases. And the problem is that when you see starting lots of red candles, Mostly the market did already the move, except you use a one minute chart. Then you maybe have enough space where you can see here lots of red candles, a green and a red candle. What is the favorite setup to trade entering after the red candle stop placement above the color switch. So what you can see now is that the market started to make here a lot of green candles here. And as I just said, lots of red candles means that the market is going down. Lots of green candles means for us the market is going up. So the biggest structure high is up here and this is way too far away. If you look at the previous candles within the last 10, 15 candles, you see this length. It means if the market would replicate this length again within around the same amount of time or the double amount of time, we would assume actually that the market does this from here goes here, right? Because maybe those are from here to here seven minutes. So 15 minutes around would be here to there around the same length as you can see here too, right? So it would make sense only that if the market would the next 30 minutes for the trader, if you just think about this length, what the market did the next 30 minutes, it would make the most sense that the market goes to this smaller structure high. And that's already it for the move. And this was the main reason why the trader took here the trade adjusted $100 for this trade to make $500 as you see here with the exit here. That means this was the buying signal, the entry, and this was the exit. I'm going to show you how the trader did the entry and the exit. That's something what's very important to understand is that when we see a lot of green candles, I love to trade color switches using the one minute chart because we have 60 candles within one hour. That means a red and a green candle. Sometimes the, the color switch and the candles are very long. But when we get a red and a green candle that is small, you can see here, this one is half as long, like literally it is 50% almost from the length what the other color switch here has. The cool thing is that when having enough leverage and trading futures or depends on whatever asset there is available, but I love to trade futures in this case, is there's a red and a green candle entering the trade so near as possible where the green candle closes, stop placement on the same green candle at the bottom, and now we're aiming for this smaller structure high as you see here because we saw the market did this length within the seven minutes within 15 minutes or something this length so it makes sense the next 30 or 45 minutes that the market goes to this high here because we have more green than red candles the market is already showing us that it's wiggling up and then aiming for this one using a small color switch such as such as a red and a green candle. The interesting part is you can see here that afterwards the market reached the target here. This is where trade quality decreases. But what the trader did is the trader took another trade here on the right side, as you see here, adjusted $100 and made another $500 for the day. Let's head to another day because sometimes we have also trading days where they don't look that beautiful, but it's exactly here the same as you see here. We are here on the computer. You see. The traders saw here the structured high, biggest structure high was here, biggest structure low was somewhere here to the left and market was touching this one already. The next biggest structure low is somewhere more to the left, what is not that interesting because we see here that the market is pushing up with lots of long and more green than red candles in reference. 
and we can see the push that it makes more sense that the market goes here to this smaller structure high here and now we have the biggest structure high here as you see here so biggest structure high number one smaller structure high number two and you see how the trader is adjusting 100 dollars here to make 500 dollars trading to this bigger structure high use this for your trading to improve hope this makes you a better trader